The changes in the music industry are kind of greatly affecting every aspect, including in attorneys as well. I think how artists are using attorneys has changed drastically. So they've always depended on to do traditional legal work, but now there's a non-traditional and a creative component that they all need from attorneys. So your entire uh, entertainment legal field is becoming younger and doing more creative work. When you think of the U.S. industry, what is it that you think of? What's the first thing that comes to your mind when I talk about Brazil? Brazil is an emerging market, so right now uh, we are, uh, I can see things that happened in Europe like four years ago. So it's, it's interesting to, it's like déjà vu, you know, like it's, now it's happening what I lived like four years ago. But uh, we have a lot of potential, it's growing quite fast. Now finally they have all their digital players there. So I think there's a lot of opportunities. Let's talk a little bit about internet. I definitely see streaming playing a huge part in the music industry going forward. I see bundling in a number of different aspects as also being a crucial building block of a successful business. But two of the most important tasks that we have is that A, we need to make the music industry sexy and fun again so we get the best talent wanting to join the music industry. And the second chore that we have is that we have to make sure that the size of the music industry grows exponentially. France is the fifth market in the world and it's also a very protective market where the state uh, intervenes a lot. French people hate surprises. They hate uh, when it's improvised. French consumers are very, very connected to the past and to the history of music, but they also like a lot of contemporary music. Hip-hop is, is a huge market in France, the second after USA. Also the French touch, the house music created in France is, is a huge market. Music industry, we are living in a revolution, and I think Berkeley can be part of this revolution because they are training and preparing the new leader. Even the biggest founders of the biggest companies went to college, went to university, had different ideas. I think that was one of the key takeaways I was hoping to, um, to bring to the table.